Hi, my name is Kellen Gilmore and you're watching The Lauren Project. What is going on guys? Jack here and welcome back to episode 26 of the LAN project here in Football Manager 2019. Hopefully you guys are good and today it is Europa League time. Of course if you missed last episode it was the Champions League qualifiers. As I've slightly given away in the intro there it didn't exactly go to plan. But if you want to check it out, it was an entertaining two legs. We also went over our transfers. And well, today we are going to be taking on Mostar. I'm going to call them Mostar because I'm not going to get their name right otherwise. But they are a team in Bosnia. I hope that we can get a win against them. They don't look particularly menacing when we look at their team report. They've got a few of these virtual players who we can't see how good they are. In terms of players we've kind of scouted, they've got this guy Panzer. We'll take a look at him real quick to see what he offers. He's apparently their best player. Hopefully his profile does load for us here. Come on, game. I believe in you. Are you going to do it for us? There you go. So you can see him. I mean, he looks menacing. Is he going to be menacing, though? That is... Well, we'll have to wait and find out, won't we? Of course, two legs today. We do actually have a game in between. It's the Northern Irish Football League Charity Shield. We're not going to worry about that game, but we have played two games in the league. We should talk about these. The first one against Cliftonville, of course. Our big rivals last year. It was a bit of a, a big game to start the year. Starting it off... Well, we needed to be off to a flyer really we needed to start strong this year and it was going to be a test but well we came through it phoenix patterson with one goal kyandra simmons with the second both in the first half we kind of cruised to victory there and well as you can see following on from that two days later we took on porter down uh, a completely rotated side required for this game but the rotated team did all right. Paul Glatzel off to a flyer. Janil Bennett making his debut for the club with the assist there. And well, he got his first goal for the club just before half-time, Janil Bennett. A little bit of fancy footwork in the box. A few players, well, questionable defending, I think it's fair to say. But he slotted it away. Adam Sally then scored a great goal for Porter Down, to be fair. Dribbled from way inside his own half. Broke clear. Again, defending wasn't exactly up to scratch at either team, but he found the back of the net. Paul O'Connor scored for us for the first time in 16 matches, which was a bit of a relief. And, uh, well, you can see Martin Downey in the 93rd minute grabbing them a consolation goal. It was too little too late, and we continued out on top. But, yes, Janil Bennett, a big standout player in this specific match. New signing signed from Spurs. I can see him competing out on the left wing. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how he gets on there when we compare him to Phoenix Patterson, who has started the year very well. Um, you'd have to say he probably is the better player, Janil. Um, there's not a massive difference between them, really. But he's just a little bit more physical, a little bit better going forwards as well. But at the same time, Phoenix has started the season very well, so we're going to stick with him for today's first game. In terms of team news, you can see here there are a few players on abysmal morale. You might also notice that most of these are players who aren't registered for the Europa League. I talked about last episode how, you know, registration for European competitions without homegrown players was going to be very, very tricky. Players didn't like the idea that they weren't going to be able to play for us and those with an ego have kind of kicked up a fuss. Of those, the one of kind of scared, I guess, of upsetting really is Lil or Phil Hill, of course. A youngster who we signed last year from Dulwich Hamlet. Didn't make an appearance for us last year, but he developed very well. We're currently training him to play that inside forward role out on the left-hand side. And at the age of 17, he's a player who's tipped to have a lot of potential and I want to keep happy if I can. You can see he's got an optional three-year extension as well as his current three-year-long contract. So even if he is unhappy, I'm not too concerned about losing him. But um, yeah, just worth noting that we have got that to worry about, perhaps. Um, just a little kind of team thing, I guess. Uh, for the game against Porter Down, I played a fully second-string squad. As you guys may know, I save team selections. So, for example, we have here my best 11 for the year, which is the team we're going to play for this first game. But you can see here I've now set up a best 11 rotated lineup, and this just involves the entire starting 11 bar the goalkeeper being different. When I need to rotate things, as we will need to this year, we're going to look at well, alternating our teams fairly frequently. You look at our fixture schedule here, we already have 10 matches scheduled for the month of August. Depending on how we get on in today's Europa League games, we could have more games here. Now, we are in the Europa League third round qualifying of the, the kind of champions qualifying. If we were to win this game, we just need to win one more two-legged affair to make it to the group stage, which is the aim this year. And I think we should be able to get a win over Mostar today. Of course, Red Star, 
a slightly different caliber of team I feel like but this game here very very much winnable and well let's see how we get on we're going to be at home to start so looking for a defensively assured performance both legs coming today in terms of our team it's going to be Thompson in goal they're going to go with Kane, Oshin and McElhaney at centre back Stewart and Sull at centre mid and centre defensive mid. Neko Williams out on the right. Pat Phoenix Patterson now on the left. Mandanda advanced playmaker. O'Connor complete forward. Of course, he did score against Portadown. Hopefully, he can keep that going for us now and, well, find his feet. And Simmons, who scored against... Um, was it Crusaders? He's, no, it was Cliftonville he scored against, of course. He is going to be our leading man here. So anyway, let's submit our team for today's game. It's pretty much the same team that played against Red Star. I don't recall there being any rotations. Of course, Mandanda was suspended um, for his sending off. He's back in the team today. We need a better performance. Let's see what we can do. Let's give our fans something to cheer about. You can see here, Kieran Kane is currently abysmal morale. I think that is because he was unhappy with my treatment of the players who kicked up a fuss. It's been quite a polarising thing in the dressing room. I'm a little bit concerned about it just because, as you saw, there are so many players with that low morale. None of them, I think, will force a move here. You know, Ultimately, at the end of the day, they've not been registered for the first team because I don't think they're quite good enough for the Europa League. And we've just only been able to register a squad of, I think, something like 22 players. Or It's a very small squad, really. Um, there was always going to be players missing out. And if they are unable to accept that due to the restrictions we're under that they can't play... They're just never going to be happy, are they? Anyway, let's see how we get on here. You can see we are actually playing at Windsor Park today, which is a little bit exciting. A bigger ground. Hopefully, our fans are going to be able to carry us through this game. They are playing a 4-4-2. The Bosnian side, not a bad team. Um, I believe they are the Bosnia champions most are, but I feel like we have the quality. And while Mandanda to O'Connor, back post, headed away, maybe got to be wary of a counter-attack here. You might have noticed in the highlights for the goals we've been conceding, it has been kind of more direct counter-attacking play which has been catching us out here. We've got plenty of men back, so you'd expect us to deal with this fairly well. Memic bringing the ball forward for them. That was an interesting slide tackle. The ball in, dealt with by Oshin. Now with Fuad Sul, can we make something happen here? Goes to Mandanda. Options around him. Neko Williams now with it at his feet. Back to Sul. Nice build-up play. Ball launched forward to Simmons, who has pace. He's through on goal. Hits the woodwork. What an effort that was by him. Shame he couldn't find the target. But I can't knock the effort. It was a confident try. You can see, looking at the early stages, they're yet to have a shot. We've had seven shots, zero on target. But we have a set piece here. 30 minutes gone. O'Connor, nice touchdown to Mandanda. Come on, let's see us get our first win in Europe today. That's got to be the aim. Simmons to Sul. Hit that! Oh my gosh, what the hell just happened? I thought that was a throw in. I'll be honest, I'm not sure what happened or what we've just witnessed. But he didn't find the back of the net and we have to move on. And well, we need to defend here. They've yet to have a shot, but they are looking dangerous maybe here. Although Thompson holds on to it this time. A first kind of warning shot in our direction. You can see we're still yet to hit the target in this game. We have hit the woodwork once and had four shots. Oh my gosh, Simmons has been given a gift. He's got to bury that. He's got to bury that. That was a horrible mistake by the Mostar defender. Immediately following it, though, there is going to be another highlight from the goal kick. We are all over them right now. We need to start hitting the target. We need to start finding the back of the net here. Sul, big ball forward to Kyendra Simmons. Go, makes his way to O'Connor, who hits it. Hits the woodwork now. I mean, we've done everything but hit the... I mean, actually, we have hit the target now, technically. But we've done everything but find the back of the net, it feels like, at this point. We've been all over them in this game. Not perhaps creating as much as I'd like. At half time, it's nil nil. I've got to get a little bit shouty shouty. I guess the good news here is that we've not conceded an away goal um, thus far. I mean, there's plenty of time for me to jinx that now, but they're not looking too threatening on our goal. But we do really need to kind of break the deadlock whilst we're on top in this game. You know, if we could get a few goals here at home, keep a clean sheet, that would be ideal. I'm looking for two or three, really. I feel like the golfing quality is there. It's been evident in the first half. Now we need to show that we are the better team. And well, let's see what we can do here. It'd be amazing to score straight from kickoff, but I can't help but feel like this is the pointless highlight. I want to be wrong. O'Connor's through. O'Connor's through. I am wrong. Neko Williams with the assist. O'Connor, two goals in two for him. Maybe he's found his mojo. Maybe it's back. The confidence flowing through him. Nice bit of build-up play here. Neko Williams, just a little bit of space out wide, giving an opportunity to put the ball in. It's a lovely ball, to be fair. That free ball to O'Connor and questionable goalkeeping. I'm not going to complain one little bit, though. 1-0 up. Things going 
to plan, I guess, at this point. It'd be nice to get a few more, you'd feel like, really. Phoenix hasn't had the best game out on the left, and I have been impressed by Janil Bennett, so we're going to bring in Bennett and see what he can do. Simmons has missed a few opportunities as well. So yeah, Patterson and Simmons, the two men coming off. We're going to bring in Glatzel, who did score against Cliftonville. Um, not the best day at the office for a few of our front men, but we'll see what we can do with the changes here. Most are on the attack. Try to go wide. Can we get in the tackle? Janil Bennett, what a tackle that is. Making his live com debut. Janil, what can you do for us? Big ball forward. Glatzel trying to get on the end of it, but can't. Now with Mandanda. What a ball that is to Glatzel. The vision to see that is superb. The ball... Not so great, but it's back with Mandanda. Now with Jimmy Stewart, who hits it. Oh my god, that was very close. That was incredibly close. The finesse shot from range just going wide of the mark. You can see they've used all their subs in this game. So they've they've given it a roll of the dice. They're yet to, so far in this second half, have a, another shot on our goal. I've got one last sub that I can make. I'm going to make it. I'm going to take off Sul. And I'm actually going to bring in O'Donnell. A slightly more attacking player, perhaps, but um, he's very good with the ball at his feet, and he's very quick, which is useful to have in a sub. And well, Nico Williams for Mandanda. Have a go, Mandanda. Have a go, ball. I mean, it was a good tackle, to be fair. Let's not concede now. Nico Williams seems to have been everywhere on that right-hand side. He's been very, very involved in the play throughout thus far. Kane here. Big ball down the line. Doesn't find Janelle Bennett, but well, Janelle Bennett finds the ball from the defender failing to clear it. Can we make something happen here now? Mandanda, Kane, patient build-up play. Is there some end product? Ball dinked in, O'Connor! Narrowly over the crossbar with the header there. Was not far away at all. Was not far away at all. I mean, we've been all over them. 1-0 in some ways would be a, a little disappointing given how dominant we've been. I'm going to tell the players to push forward for the last four minutes. Can we get that one goal? Mandanda injury. Let's hope that's not serious. He is an important player for us. Does it tell us what it could be? It doesn't. I mean, now we're praying it's nothing too bad. There's a lot of extra time here, which makes me think it could be a slightly more serious injury than I want to see. Janil Bennett. I mean, we'll take that. 2-0. Three minutes of added time. He scored in it. If it was FIFA, I'd be calling it scripting. I'm just going to savour it for what it is. Janil Bennett, the youngster... Making his live com debut, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think he came on against Red Star. Three at the back post. First effort wasn't the greatest, but the rebound. An acute angle. The keeper made himself big, but Janil found that bottom corner. 2-0 it's going to finish, you'd think. Here, we're almost up to 100 minutes of added time. How bad was the Mandunda injury? I did notice they had an injury as well, so that probably didn't help things. But boys, good performance. 2-0 after that first leg. Now we pray. Now we pray it's nothing serious. Mandanda injury. Oh my god. Houston? We have a problem. I don't know what I'm going to do. Mandanda's out for five months. <sighs> right, we'll send it to special. I'm just going to move to the next game. I don't know what I was about to talk about, but my mind has gone blank. So hopefully I've had time to construct my thoughts in a week's time. The second leg, I don't know what to say. Okay, guys, so we are back after what can only be described as a disaster. I mean, it literally is Mandanda. Four to five months out, the only silver lining I can see here is at least PSG and Brighton and a few other teams who are interested probably aren't going to be interested at least this season. I mean, it's not really a silver lining, is it? We need Mandanda in. I have reacted accordingly by making a new signing, and that is Ben Knight, who we've signed from Manchester City, a player who was available on loan. We've brought him in, no strings attached. Um, he's a very good player. We have lots of very talented centre-attacking mids, but this guy is particularly good. He has a lot of potential as well. I've loaned him under the age of 18 so that potentially we can sign him down the line. Whilst I think he can be a very good player for us, you know, I do want to prioritise giving first team football to our centre attacking mid to obviously play for us. Since you were last here, obviously we played the Charity Shield game against Glenavon. A good result this one, a very rotated side just two days after the first leg. We started things off with the penalty. Ross Hunter was given a gift for them for his first goal of the season. And, uh, well, despite that shaky and somewhat questionable defending, we did get the winner, Glendining, with it in the 54th minute. 
his first senior goal for the club. A good moment for him and a player who I think we will be seeing a lot of this year with the injury to Mandanda. As you can see here, Paul Glatzel also got injured in this game. He is out for three to six weeks. And additionally, Shane McElhaney has been injured too. He's pulled his hamstring, so he's also out. As you guys will know, the registration rules of the Champions League mean that we were, well, and Europe in general, mean that we were kind of limited with our options. We are now down to just having a squad of 18 for the competition. If we have any more injuries, we will be losing players off the bench. You can see we're now already overloaded, overloaded with defenders, Janiel Bennett and Brad Lyons, really the only two more attacking players of note that we even have here. Obviously, Romario Vieira maybe can offer us something, but... Yeah, not ideal. We've even got to the point where we've got a goalkeeper on the bench, which, if you guys know me, means things must be bad. Just one of a little bit of note before we get into the second leg here. You can see we've been put in the Iron Brew Cup. I believe this was formerly called the Scottish Challenge Cup. Um, it's a competition that is kind of a Scottish competition, obviously. Um, but they changed the rules the last couple of years. So two teams, I think, from the National League in England, two teams from Wales, two teams from I think Northern Ireland and two teams from somewhere else all play in this competition. It might be from the Republic of Ireland. We are one of the two Northern Irish teams who's been invited to play in it. We've been drawn against Carlisle, who are in the non-league of England. We should be able to beat them. But um, yeah, just an interesting little thing there that I thought was a little unusual. Um, I didn't even know this competition existed, never mind the fact that we could even possibly play in it. So uh, another thing to add to your diary, and that is inevitably going to add to our fixture congestion here. But anyway, let's focus on the game here against Mostar. It's why you're here. It's why I'm here. Uh, in terms of the team, besides Mandanda coming out for O'Donnell and the bench having a bit of a shuffle around, obviously, Morrison is going to come in for McLaney. Uh, I like Morrison a lot. He's a very good player, a player who I tipped to be a regular in the first team this year. It's going to happen a little sooner, sooner than we expected. And while we've Glatzel injured on the bench, we've had to rejig things as we've already talked about. So anyway, let's see how we get on going into today's game. Not going to be easy. Away from home against Mostar. If we can get an away goal, we'd be in a great position. That late goal by Janil Bennett does make a huge difference to us. Um, if we can get the goals that we need, and that when I say the goals we need, I mean just one goal, they have to score four. So you'd say at that point the game is wrapped up. You know, This is where I hate away goals, but we've done exactly what Red Star did to us. You know, you're getting the two goals... Uh, home keeping a clean sheet it means that going into the second leg we know one goal in our favor could really well swing the tie completely and make it all but ours but well we can't take that for granted despite how good we were in the first leg we are missing mandanda now so it's not going to be easy and while they're on the attack here they've got a chance it's an offside fortunately anel sinovic with the goal for them but the lino has bailed us out just a little bit was it offside was it off it was offside good decision lino I never doubted him for a second. But yes, we don't want to be too complacent here. At the same time, two goals up after the first leg. We come into here. We should be confident. We should be optimistic. Um, the system is working very well. And actually, you can see so far in the opening 20 minutes, with the exception of that disallowed goal, which was a real thunderbolt from range, they're not creating a whole lot. So that's good for us. And while Phoenix set piece here, whips in. Oshin back post header, finds the back of the net. That is the goal we were looking for here, folks. 3-0, they need four. It's going to be a rough night in our field for most. Star. A set piece, Phoenix Patterson, get it to the back post. O'Sheen, I want to say he leapt like a gazelle because he's known for his jumping, but to be honest, he barely needed to jump there. But regardless, he finds the back of the net with the header. We will take that all day, every day. And, uh, well, now we can just cruise into half time as far as I'm concerned. That is going to put us one game away from the Europa League uh, group stage. I do already know who we're going to be playing. It's going to be the Czech champions. Um, I wish I could remember the name of the team now. But um, yeah, it could have been a tougher draw. Red Star actually lost in the next European Champions League qualifying round. I don't think we could have been kind of drawn against them again. But they are the calibre of team that are going to be awaiting us in the next round. And the next round is not going to be easy. You know, taking on the Czech champions, I'm trying to remember who the team are. I can't remember them. I will sincerely apologise now. We'll obviously check after the game. Uh, I didn't want to think too far ahead of it because I wanted to take it one game at a time. But it does kind of feel like now we can afford to dream of the next stage of this competition and work out exactly what we want to do here. Of course, with the injuries we've had, it's not great. And well, with the league games coming thick and fast in and around these fixtures and the Iron Brew Cup now as well to worry about. 
uh, I'm glad that we have such a big squad. Put it that way. I feel like that is going to be a big factor this year that should hopefully allow us to challenge on all fronts. Anyway, they are still on the attack here. Most are. They need four goals in the second half. It's not completely impossible, but they've got basic here. That's definitely not how you say his name, but basic is what we're going to call it. I mean, it's a second goal of the game for Oshin. It's in the wrong net, which is a problem. I'll be complete. I mean, it's the same net he scored the last one in. Basic. I mean, it wasn't so basic, was it? He put in a a weird ball, which Oshin re reacts to like a blind dog playing fetch. I don't know why that's the analogy I've gone for, but that's what it was like, you know, when you lob it at a ball or a toy at a pet and it doesn't see it coming and it just kind of bounces off them. I'm not sure what to make of that. Anyway, we'll try and continue things on here. Jimmy Stewart spreading the play to Kane. Options in the middle, maybe. Kane, what can you do? The answer, not a lot. But Stewart to Oshin. Make your redemption story happen, Oshin. Sul to Neko Williams. Loads of space here. Crosses it in. It's dealt with. O'Donnell now. The replacement for Mandanda. Expecting a lot from him. Phoenix! I think he just hit the woodwork. That shot blocked as well. That was the first clear-cut chance of the game. For Simmons from the rebound. Dealt with well by the defender, to be fair to him. Let's make some changes here. Phoenix on a booking. I know he scored. Oh, rather, got the assist. But I don't want to risk him or bring in Janil Bennett. Uh, O'Connor is struggling for fitness as well. I'm going to bring in Brad Lyons. With the injuries we've got, the last thing I want is to lose, well, O'Connor. Because he is behind Mandanda, I'd say. And Kieran Kane, kind of one of our big players. One of the players we really can't afford to lose. So I want to protect him at all costs. Anyway, Popovic here to Muhovic. Lots of itches in their team. Is there any more itches? Any more? Who we got here? No. Senyai. That looked like a good tackle to me. I'll be honest. Right, Jared Thompson, be a hero. Would I be nervous if they score now? A little. A little. I am nervous now. I mean, the way things are playing out here, they still need two goals because of away goals. This is me assuming that the Europa League qualifier away goal rule hasn't changed this year in real life. I don't think it has, but I can't say I'm well versed in the Europa League qualifying campaign kind of rules. So I could be wrong. Let's hope I'm not wrong. I'm going to make our one last change here. I'm going to take our foot for Adsul and bring in Romario Vieira. Just a fresh pair of legs in the centre of the midfield here. But, um, well, let's just see things out. It's still 3-2 on aggregate, so away goal's not going to be a factor. Perhaps a little bit disappointing to lose 2-1 in a game where you only have one shot on target against you. But ultimately, we are going to go through. And I can't really complain about it that much. Hopefully now we can find out the name of the team we're going to be up against. I'm a little bit scared to try and pronounce their name, but we'll give it a go. So a win there, very good news for us. £251,000 paid. We've got Slavia Praha. There you go. I mean, that could have been a tougher name. I'll call them SK for short. But yes, we're going to be taking them on. I think they're Czech. They should, let's just check, shall we? That was awful, Jack. Yes, you can see here they are. They are valued at an estimated value of 46 That's a lot of money. They lost to Luda Goretz, though, so there's hope. And they also lost to Burnley in a pre-season friendly. So there's more hope for us. Let's let's have a scout of some of their better players so we can get an idea of how good they are. Do we know when we're going to be playing them just yet? Oh boy, look at these fixtures. Right, that's in two more games time. I've got Glenavon to play between then and now. I'm going to be playing my B team a lot, aren't I, this year? I can already see how this is starting to play out. This is going to be a challenging year. I mean, so far this month, we have 11 games scheduled. It's the first month of the season. I don't know what to think or say. Anyway, <laughs> it's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun challenge. You can see here, Okonkwo, I'm looking to loan. Similar reason to the guy we've loaned from City. He's 18. I need a goalkeeper. If I can loan him this year, it means I can maybe sign him down the line. Um, and he's supposed interested in talking to us also. When it comes to goalkeepers, uh, Cockbill, I think, is probably going to be playing in the under-20s a fair bit this year. So I'd like to get in a third-choice keeper just to be safe. And then I can move Cockbill down a team. Um, and, well, the guy we're looking at from Arsenal kind of ticks all the boxes for that. But anyway, guys, that is going to be everything from me today. I do hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, do leave a like on it. We'll be back again tomorrow with the Europa League well, third, no, fourth round qualifying. Hopefully we can win it and get to the group stage. It's not going to be easy. We're taking on Slavia Praha. They are valued at £46 million. 
we are valued at 10 million. Okay, well, that's gone up quite a lot. We're valued at 10 million. That's better than I was expecting. It was like 2 million at the start of last year. We'll have to see how we get on, won't we? Anyway, hopefully I do see you guys for that one. It is me, Jack, and I will talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.